Hey guys, Chelsea here from Making Manzanita. Today we're sharing our cutting in painting tips. Painter's tape is great. We agree, we use it all the time. But what you shouldn't be using painter's tape for is cutting in on your trim, baseboards, or at the ceiling. You may be thinking, what? No painter's tape on the trim or the wall up by the ceiling? How in the world do you get straight lines without painter's tape? Well, that's what we are gonna teach you in today's video. You will see how to pick the paint, best paint brush for cutting in, which is super important, and you will learn how to cut in paint at the ceiling and along trim and baseboards without painter's tape. All right, let's dive in. So let's start with some basics. First of all, what does it even mean to cut in? So cutting in paint is the action of painting a straight line either in the corner, around trim, baseboards, or where the ceiling meets the wall up at the top and doing it without painter's tape. Now, next, do you cut in before or after painting the walls? We think that you should cut in the paint before rolling the paint on your walls because rolling the paint after will help even out the texture and get rid of any brush marks from cutting in. So you may be thinking, what is the best type of paintbrush for cutting in? Well, let's take a closer look. One of the most important aspects of painting a straight line when you're cutting in is the right kind of paintbrush. So when you're cutting in, it's important to use a brush with an angled sash and a tapered filament. Now the angled sash refers to that diagonal edge of the paint bristles that go low to high when you look at the face of the paintbrush. A tapered filament is when you hold the brush like this edgewise and it has sort of a dome shaped to the edge of the bristles. Now you can see the one on the very far left does not have a tapered filament. So you can see it's very flat, especially when I hold them up next to each other, you'll be able to tell the difference very quickly. Now that tapered filament is important because it pumps out the paint to the surface of um, the wall that you're painting and an, a flat filament, that one on the left is gonna be cheaper, but it has less coverage and less control over the paint. So it's well worth it to buy a little more expensive paintbrush with the tapered filament, which makes it much easier to cut in. So these two on the right are the ones that we use for cutting in. This one here is the Wooster 2 inch shortcut angled sash brush with Chinex bristles. Those are the white bristles and they're a little nicer bristle type. So this is um, a great brush for cutting in. And then one we also use, just depending on what we have on hand, is the Ultra Pro Firm Shortcut Angled 2 inch sash brush like this. And you can see it's a dark green handle there. Um, that's the Pro version is the dark green. That's what that means. So these are the two that we primarily use for cutting in and they work great. So that shortcut handle is just a very comfortable handle and it fits well in the palm of your hand. It makes it easy to get into tight spaces if needed. So that handle is more of a personal preference. So if you feel like you have better control with a larger handle, you can definitely use that. Now, before we dive into the detailed step-by-step -step tutorial, which we're gonna do, I wanna start with a little bit of a warning because the art of cutting in paint, it takes practice, like a lot of practice. So if you're doing it for the first time, I want you to give yourself grace and time to get it down. But the investment is well worth it if you are renovating or just do a lot of painting projects because think about all the time that you are gonna save putting down that paint, which by the way, takes forever, and then dealing with that paint that inevitably, no matter what you do, seeps under that painter's tape. Ugh. All right. So are you ready to learn? Let's jump in. Now we usually just dip the paintbrush directly into the can of paint, but be sure that you have shaken it and stirred it well before starting because the colors and ingredients of the paint can tend to separate when it's sitting for a long time. Now you wanna just dip the bottom half of your paintbrush into the can and then brush the backside of the paint on the edge of the can to get rid of any excess. Don't get rid of too much paint though because you do wanna have a full paintbrush when you bring it up to the wall. Now use the side of the paintbrush that is full of paint and brush off the excess paint along the wall near the edge that you are painting on but not right up against it. Now the key is to offload most of the paint off of the brush so it's not a dripping mess. Then you can hold the paintbrush up to the line that you're painting along and use the angled bristles 
to slowly make a line with the paintbrush. Since the excess paint is already right there on the wall where you offloaded it, you're simply just spreading that paint out with the paintbrush. Here's a closer look doing the cutting in along the ceiling. Now the steps are pretty much the same. You want to load up your paintbrush as Logan's doing here and then bring it up to the wall and offload the excess as close as you can to the edge without getting up against it. And then bring that paintbrush closer and hold it along the corner and slowly work your way across. And once you're done with that section and ready to fill up the paintbrush again, you wanna brush over that wall area just to make sure there's no droopy edges to the paint. This is gonna help it blend later when you go to roll the paint onto the walls. So you can see here, we go around and we do the entire room, all of the cutting in at once while we have the paintbrush out. We go around all the trim on the windows, in corners, and then we work our way around the edge of the ceiling. If we have baseboards on, we'll also cut in along the baseboards. When you're cutting in up on the ceiling, you wanna get as high on the ladder as you can so you have a straight view of where that wall meets the ceiling. This is gonna help you get really up close and personal with exactly where those bristle, bristles are that you are painting with. And you'll be able to see that top corner of the paintbrush very clearly, which is what you want to keep your eye on. Now, just like you wanna be up high on a ladder when you're doing the ceiling, when you're doing baseboards, you wanna be down on the ground. We usually lay on the side on our shoulders so that we can really see where that paintbrush is going along the top of the trim. Now, as much as you can, you do wanna to try to keep your hand as steady as possible. If it helps, you can try to hold out your pinky finger and rest that along the wall as a guide for steadiness. If you feel like your hand is starting to get shaky, you're probably tired, so take a break and come back to it. But before you do, be sure to wrap up your paintbrush in a plastic bag and put it in the fridge while you take a break so it, you don't have to wash it out. Now, another tip for a nice steady hand is to make sure you're fully hydrated and have a full stomach before you're cutting in. That usually helps me. And if coffee or caffeine makes you shaky, you may want to just avoid that before cutting in. This is gonna help keep your hand nice and steady. Hopefully we have convinced you now that even a beginner can cut in paint without using painter's tape. Using the steps that you learned in this video, you can cut in paint at the ceiling or paint around the trim and edges in your room. Now it all starts with using the right tools for the job, so be sure you're using a best, the best paint brush you can for cutting in paint. And then give yourself lots of practice and a whole lot of patience and you can create beautiful straight lines between the wall and the ceiling and the edges when you're painting a room. Now, if you liked this video, be sure to let us know. You can push that thumbs up button and then let us know in the comments if you have any other questions about cutting in or just painting in general. And while you're here, be sure to subscribe to our channel. We release tons of renovating and DIY videos and let us know if you have an idea for a future video. Hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.